Hey, what's up? Back with another video and today I wanted to show you guys how you can actually use Claude to build complete N8N um, workflows right inside of Claude, uh, which is pretty crazy. Um, I've seen tons of videos and people going through kind of like just using the regular um, Claude chat or chat GPT to kind of like build um, JSON code, which they paste into N8N and it does work sometimes, but this uh, method um, has consistently produced the be best output in terms of like actual, um, like almost fully operating and it end flows without any um, any edit edits needed whatsoever. So I wanted to walk you guys through this, how you can build it in Claude. Um, first of all, shout out to Mark Chef. This is uh, highly inspired by his YouTube video um, and setup. And you'll see this by some of the JSON instructions, which I copied from him. So if you guys want to check out his YouTube channel, I would definitely um, recommend that. But yeah, let's go through it. Um, we start inside of Claude and you will need the, the pro plan, the paid plan here to do this. You cannot you do this on the free plan. And that's because you do have to use Claude projects. Um, and you can see right here, I have mine built out right here, the N8N Builder. So if I just open this up, you'll see that I can kind of like chat with this right here. And I, I have some project knowledge on the right hand side over here. But um, to get started, you just hit new project. You just hit, you can just call it whatever you want and it and test, blah, 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 create project. Then here, there's a couple of things you need to upload. The first is that you need to upload a text content. Uh, and if I just open up mine right here, you'll see that the text content right here is this big prompt right here that we want Claude to be able to create a fully functional and it and workflow um, only valid JSON and then follow these instructions precisely. So then you just copy and paste this and I'll um, upload this to a Google Drive so you guys can grab this afterwards. But you basically want to have this copy pasted in right here. And then I've also basically just gone through and uploaded several other um, and then uh, JSON workflows that I found on GitHub and some from Marcus Chef's resources as well. So I pretty much just uploaded uh, a couple of workflows here that I thought would be pretty cool and pretty much just to give Claude some extra context. And then at the end here, we have these two uh, other PDFs. We have a cheat sheet and we have a tips and tricks text. So you pretty much just upload all of this to uh, a cloud project and you're ready to go. So I was playing around with this earlier today and you can see here that I have this chat opened up and um, I saw this really cool uh, tweet here by Jay where he talks about uh, building out a workflow that downloads all of your tweets. You sort by popularity, you ingest them into a rag, you just create a cron job for a um, daily sync and then use an in it and agent to produce daily tweets um, to build your audience on autopilot so I literally just copy and pasted this right here after completing the the project and you can see I literally just copy and paste this right here I want to build an agent that downloads all of your tweets sort by popularity blah 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 and then this is the output that came back from Claude so it spits this out as a JSON so then if I just copy and paste this right here go into a fresh workflow inside of an ident and then just literally paste it and you can see that we get i mean a pretty if you check this out you get a pretty big workflow going on right here so you just have to clean things up a little bit but if i just pull this out to the side we have a couple of different things going on right here we have the tweet the twitter rag tweet generator the processing pipeline right here then we have the actual tweet generator right here, which is interesting. So, and this is literally me just opening this up. Okay, so you can see right here, we have a calculator tool and a time tool that didn't work. But other than that, it looks like we have the first agent right here, which is based on a chat trigger. We have it, if we just open this up, you are an AI powered Twitter content generator, your primary task is to create engaging authentic tweets based on the the 
the user's past Twitter activity and writing style. Interesting, you have access to the following tools, a vector database of the user's past tweets, cool. Uh, when crafting tweet, tweets, analyze the user's writing style, tone, blah, 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 really cool. So we basically have the, the tweet writer right here, which you can see pulls from the, uh, the Twitter database uh, via Pinecone. Uh, it formats the tweets. It actually posts this automatically to Twitter, which is interesting. I probably wouldn't do that. I'd just probably have it output straight to like a uh, like an Airtable or to a Google Doc, whatever. But yeah, that's that's really interesting. Then you can see right here, this is the the fetching of tweets. So we have the fetch Twitter data. We sort by popularity. Interesting. Then we process all that for the rag, and then hit. This is the pines, uh, pinecone vector store. Interesting. So you literally get everything right here with these kind of like sticky notes to explain everything step by step, which is really cool. So, um, yeah, I thought this was really cool. Obviously, you you'll probably want to have uh, some of these as their own workflows, and then just call them as a sub workflow from this main agent. But you still pretty much like have the actual nodes and the workflows built out of here, which you can just create as individual um, workflows if you want. So I thought this was really, really cool and it will definitely save a ton of time uh, instead of just trying to brainstorm and going through everything from scratch. But another cool, really cool part of this um, Claude project right here, what you can do is that you can also literally just take screenshots of other N8N flows and have the uh, the cloud project build them out for you. So I just pulled up a random YouTube video right here, just going through a, I mean, pretty basic uh, workflow. This this one looks like it's uh, kind of like a Gmail or email um, AI assistant. So if I just screenshot this, drag it over into cloud and say, hey, I want to build a workflow just like the screenshot oh let's see the message will exceed the length limit okay looks like I've maybe used a little bit too much right here let me pause and I'll take a look at this all right we're back I think I just had to open up a new chat um, I think I exceeded the rate limit or the memory limit on the previous chat so yeah, keep that in mind as well. You probably can't do a ton of, ton of back and forth chatting with the projects, but yeah, worst case you just open up a new one, which I did right here. I just literally pasted the screenshot and say I want to build a workflow just like this. Um, then it analyzes the screenshot. So it starts with a Gmail trigger node, passes to a text classifier to categorize emails, blah, blah, blah. And then it is running out all of the JSON, as you can see right here, which is really cool. And then it summarizes the workflow. So let's just copy and paste the JSON right here. And then we just go back into edit and paste it. All right, this one didn't look exactly like the workflow, which is interesting. Hmm. Chat-based AI agent. No, that wasn't quite what I was looking for. Let's try this one more time. Build a replicate of this workflow from the screenshot. All right, let's see how this comes back. I'll just pause this and I'll be back in a second. All right, we're back and we have the JSON completed right here. Let's take a look at the summary. Uses the Gmail trigger to monitor new emails. Yep, routes emails. Okay, cool. Let's just copy and paste this again, see if this works. Okay, cool. Yeah, this one looks a lot more like the screenshot. Cool. Models configuration, auto adapter workflow, workflow overview, very cool. Okay, cool. Let's take a look again. I mean, that's pretty spot on, to be honest. So 
yeah, again, I mean, a really, really cool uh, way to use Claude. To, uh, I guess, like, just cut down the, the time uh, to build these out and just have Claude do it for you. And, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm probably just going to use this more as kind of like a brainstorming tool where I just go in and then I just chat with them and uh, discuss ideas for different workflows. So, for example, if I just say, hey, I want to build... A workflow where I send a slack message uh, and then it pulls daily Shopify store performance and sends everything back as a high level report And again, it starts building everything out. So, yeah, I think, I mean, again, the goal here is is not to have Claude build out a 100% uh, complete workflow inside of NNN, but you can use it as a companion to kind of like brainstorm and kind of like mock up what different flows could look like. So, I mean, let's just see, is this one done yet? Nope, not quite yet. Super curious to see how this could look potentially. So it also ha helps you kind of like just like I guess visualize things a little bit more as well, which is really cool. I'm just going to pause this again until it's done, and then I'll show you guys what the um, output looks like. Okay, we're back. And again, we have the summary here. This workflow will trigger when someone types Shopify report in the Slack channel. It pulls today's data from Shopify, processes the data, generates a nicely formatted report, sends the report back to the same Slack channel. Uh, the workflow also includes error, error handling and the, the data processing code, clear documentation, proper connections, and so on. So let's just copy and paste this and see how this comes out. Let me just get all of this out of the way. Just recopy this. Very nice. Not bad at all. Then if I just open up the step-by-step -step here. This workflow generates a comprehensive daily report for your Shopify store when triggered by a Slack message. Triggered by a Slack message collects the today's data from Shopify, formats and analyzes the data, generates a human-readable report, sends the report back to Slack in the same thread. Again, you have the sticky notes here, which kind of like explains the processing and all of the different nodes, which is really cool. Error handling is included. And then the AI report generation. I mean, I'm pretty blown away by this, to be honest. It's, this is, I mean, super cool. I'll, I'll probably have to, to actually build this one out and give it a test. But yeah, I won't ramble on any further. Um, if you guys want the, the prompts for the, um, for the cloud projects and, um, all the files, um, let me know. I will send them to you, but yeah, that's it. That's it for this one, guys. Hope this was helpful.